Sometimes the things you say to others or certain words you use while holding a conversation with someone can be a turn off for them without you knowing or realizing it. The only thing you begin to notice is that they react in some way to you. The truth is that words are potent. They can either motivate a person or bring them down. Negative words particularly can belittle someone, make them feel inferior and confine them to a life of mediocrity. According to a research done by Paul Rosen, a Harvard graduate professor of psychology, negative words has a greater influence on people than positive perspective. Which is why when you say certain things to people, they might feel offended and dislike you for it. In this video, I'll share with you bad words that make other people hate you. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Word Saying that someone is weird can be pretty uncomfortable for some people because it's like telling them that you are more of a better human being than them and that they are not worth hanging out with you or doing something. It can make them doubt themselves and they will begin to avoid interactions with you to avoid feeling bad about themselves. Number 2. Failure Calling someone a failure can be so disheartening and this will never make them feel good about themselves. When you call someone a failure, you give them reasons to think that they cannot win anything in life. So instead of believing in themselves and in their abilities to achieve great stuff, they start feeling otherwise about themselves. Number 3. Fool Even if you think a person acted foolishly, do not call them a fool. When you do, it means that you feel that they are incapable of acting wisely. Unfortunately, continuously referring to someone as a fool can even lead to a lack of self-belief and even depression. Number 4. Incompetent It is prevalent in workplaces, especially when condescending bosses want to intimidate their staff. But the problem is that no one likes to be around threatening people. Calling someone incompetent means that they are not capable of doing the work they are called or hired to do and this can make a person feel belittled and discouraged. Number 5. Irresponsible When you refer to a person as irresponsible, you probably do so because you want them to put more thought into their actions. However, it might end up being a trigger because no one likes to be associated with negative words no matter your intentions. When you call someone irresponsible, it means that you are saying that they are acting without thinking about the possible outcomes of their actions. And of course, no one likes the sound of that. Number 6. Ashamed Saying you are ashamed of a person means that you are disappointed at them because they couldn't meet a certain standard or threshold. The thought of this can be disheartening. It can affect a person's self-esteem because they'll begin to doubt their ability and adequacies. Number 7. Disappointed Telling a person you are disappointed in them means that they have failed to live up to expectation. And this can also result in low self-esteem and low confidence level. It, in turn, can affect every other part of their lives. So, again, who would like to be around someone who continually makes them feel bad about themselves? I'm sure no one does. Number 8. Useless Everyone has something good about them even if you can't see it. So when you refer to someone as useless, you are saying that they have no use whatsoever and don't deserve to be anywhere around you because unlike them, you aren't useless. Number 9. Bad Describing someone else as bad, whether it is their thought, perception or their actions can make a person feel terrible and it can be demeaning. Also. Telling someone that something about them is bad in a bid to correct something that they did wrong isn't going to help them improve. Instead, they will choose to avoid you so that they won't always feel bad whenever they are around you. Number 10. Hate Hate is a strongly negative word to use. When you tell a person that you hate them or something about them or what they do, you are saying to them that you have a very intense dislike for them. How do you think this will make them feel? Good? Of course not. 
it will create some tension in your interaction. Here's why. The person will recognize the fact that you're there only because you do not have a choice. Eventually, the relationship between the two of you might break down irreparably. Number 11. Lazy. Laziness is attached to failure and no one wants to be seen or addressed as one. When you tell a person that they are lazy, it means that they are unwilling to put in effort towards achieving something or that they have no motivation to work towards a specific goal. I mean, just because you cannot see the energy that they are putting towards achieving a thing doesn't say that they are not doing anything about the situation. So falsely accusing them will make them feel bad, especially when they are around you. Number 12. Boring. When you say a person is such a bore, it means that you find them uninteresting. It can make them feel insignificant, especially when they are around you. Sometimes, just because you do not know a person doesn't mean they are boring. It only means that you haven't gotten to know them. So instead of jumping into conclusion and chasing them away from you, take time to discover what they like and what they don't like. There you go. Now you know the words to stop saying if you don't want people to hate you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.